much glasses. Hey guys, you're bored? Yeah. I have a present for you. What? Here is it, Cabernet Sauvignon. Let's cheer up and try it. Cabernet Sauvignon is originally from Bordeaux, but the grapes for Janelle wine were grown in the Languedoc region. The Cabernet Sauvignon grapes for the Janelle is very small with thick skin, which gives the wine high tannins and phenols. It's not aged in old barrels, that's why it's cheaper than others. However, the Janelle wine tastes as good as more expensive wines. It's a big bold wine, it has a fruit and spice character with a medium length. It smells like black currant and blackberry. You can get earthy aromas like tobacco and chemicals as well. How to make a perfect fruit match with Janelle? Let's ask an expert. Uh, because it's full-bodied, as you told me earlier, with the blackberry fruits, okay, that is uh, a complement to many uh, red meats. Right. right? Mm -hmm. So whenever you're food and wine matching, you want to focus in on the, the star, the main, main event on the plate. Steaks, uh, any red meat, game, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Here, uh, like mushrooms and you know heirloom carrots that have like this rustic kind of uh, flavor and taste because it's going to match the rustic flavors of the, of the grape variety. Yeah, so usually red wine doesn't go well with cheese at all uh, because of the tannins, right? And the tannins and the proteins and the cheese they clash. They don't they don't taste very good together. Uh, general, there are some examples where red wines do go well, and usually those are your much firmer cheeses. Mm -hmm. uh, where some red wines will go well, like Parmesan. So, now you are prepared to celebrate Cabernet Sauvignon Day at the end of August. So go to the LCBO and enjoy this delicious wine. Just eleven ninety nine. Thank you.